A friend of mine has recently bought a LiDAR sensor and I wanted to see if some of the STL files it produces could be carved on my CNC machine. I've glued together here five pieces of 18mm MDF to create a block of wood that's 300mm by 300mm by 90mm deep. We recruited a friend who is going to act as our model and his face is going to feature in this video. This is the STL file. I obviously can only cut relief, I can't cut undercut, so this is why it's just the half of his face. The first pass is going to be a roughing pass, which is basically to remove the bulk of the material out of the way. I'm using a 6mm end mill for this. Here's the finished product of the roughing pass. So now the much finer tapered bull nose end mill with a 0.5 millimeter radius tip can just remove the smallest bit of material and put the fine details. In future, I'm going to have a look at the settings and see if I can speed this up. Because you saw there, it was just over six hours final cutting time to get to this stage. I've been very surprised with the level of detail that's been able to be achieved with just cut MDF. I'm having to deal with a lot of fuzz that's associated with the edge of MDF. Now this has all been cut away. I had some gold spray paint lying around and it seemed like a good idea just to make this metallic. But unfortunately, as you'll see from the, the finish, the shininess highlighted a lot of the defects while camouflaging a lot of the detail. On looking at this gold monstrosity, I honestly thought the original MDF matte finish looked better, so I decided just to recoat in matte grey.
although the spotlights in the kitchen are a bit harsh, I think you'll agree the grey finish is far better. It was at this point my daughter wanted to put her two pennies worth in and get her acrylic paints out and she uh, then had a go on this and I think this adds the next level of freakiness. The long and short is, I think this test was a success. I'm looking forward to scanning more things with the LiDAR sensor and then carving them on the CNC and seeing what we can make out of it.